Engine AI is really leaning into the RoboCop aesthetic. Videos circulating on social media show the buzzy Chinese startup's AI-powered humanoid robots patrolling the streets of Shenzhen. According to Chinese state media, it's part of an experimental project merging artificial intelligence and law enforcement. The deployment comes as the People's Republic increases its reliance on AI and robotics for public safety. Will these humanoids evolve to match the abilities of the iconic robotic police officer from the 1987 film? Let's get to the bottom of it. Full frame. You got it. All right, clear out. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust, protect the innocent, uphold the law. It's good. It's very good. Huh? <laughs> Robots from Engine AI have been compared to Robocop since the Shenzhen-based startup emerged from seemingly out of nowhere in fall 2024. The original Robocop wasn't screened in China due to strict restrictions on foreign films at the time, but the reboot was a notable success. Zhao Tongyang, a prominent figure in China's expanding robotics sector, founded Engine AI in October 2023. The founder previously led the team at Xpeng Robotics that developed the Chinese EV maker's first humanoid robot prototype, the PX5. Xpeng is now training its next generation humanoid robot named Iron for industrial applications. Zhao left Xpeng in 2023, quickly securing nearly $14 million in angel seed funding to launch Engine AI. A year later, the startup's flagship, the SE-1, immediately set a new benchmark for bipedal locomotion with its uncannily human-like walking gait. The breakthrough was thanks to a novel end-to-end -end neural network that continuously adapts and optimizes movements. Engine AI kicked off 2025 with video clips of the humanoid walking outside the Shenzhen Bay Innovation and Technology Center going viral. Many assumed the robot was CGI, but experts like leading NVIDIA scientist Jim Fan vouched for its authenticity. The robots accompanying police in the new footage are the robotics firm's lower-end model, the PM1. The lightweight humanoid has a starting price under $14,000. Intended for research and development applications, the PM1 is touted for its customizability. According to Engine AI, the PM1 features advanced visual perception capabilities thanks to its Intel RealSense depth camera. It has an aluminum alloy exoskeleton with an interactive core screen, while the full-sized humanoid has an aerospace-grade build. Engine AI boasts the PM1's highly human-like bionic design with a superhuman 320-degree waist-free rotation. It's powered by a dual-chip architecture, equipped with Intel N97 and NVIDIA Jetson Orin processors. At 1.38 meters or 4.5 feet, the PM1 stands 27 centimeters shorter than the SE1. It weighs 40 kilograms or about 88 pounds, which is 8 kilos less than the full-sized humanoid robot. According to the South China Evening News, the robots assisting police in Shenzhen have 24 degrees of freedom and can complete a variety of complex tasks. They have 12 degrees of freedom in their joint motors, allowing for smooth and dynamic movements. The PM1 walks at a pace of up to 2 meters per second or just under 4.5 miles per hour. The PM1 is carving its lane, competing with other short Chinese humanoids like the Unitree G1 and the T1 by Booster Robotics. Like the G1 and T1, the PM1 is intended for researchers racing to merge robotics and human capabilities. The PM1's pricing is notable for undercutting Unitree's G1, which starts at $16,000. Engine AI's robots are trained with reinforcement learning in NVIDIA's Isaac Simulator. They receive feedback from simulation and, over time, figure out how to adapt and become more human-like. With this approach, a robot doesn't need to physically exist yet to start training. 
Once the training is complete, it's transferred to the hardware via a process called Sim to Real, short for Simulation to Reality. At this point, their use in actual police work is likely limited, with the clips on social media mostly for demonstration purposes. While China's AI-powered robots are advancing rapidly, humanoids like the PM1 require much more training before they're ready to operate autonomously in the real world. In recent public demonstrations, Engine AI's robots are followed closely by engineers. This indicates they're in the early stages of real-world testing. In one video clip, an engineer saves an SE1 humanoid from falling. Battery life also presents challenges. The PM1 features a quick swappable battery that runs for up to two hours on a single charge. The duration restricts use to shorter tasks like public engagements. Engine AI says its robots are designed to last 10 to 15 years before saying, I'm too old for this. Shenzhen has been experimenting with robotics for public safety for at least a decade. Early projects around 2014 involved surveillance robots in public areas for enhanced security. In 2016, a robot called Anbot or Shenzhen Xiaoan in Chinese began patrolling the Shenzhen Beiyuan International Airport. The security robot, equipped with four cameras, patrols autonomously for up to eight hours. Anbot, developed by the Shenzhen Public Security Bureau and National University of Defense Technology, can recharge itself. Its capabilities are similar to robots by Nightscope that are growing in popularity in the United States for security applications. And Shenzhen-based Log on Technology produces spherical police robots armed with tear gas dispensers, net shooters, and other non-lethal devices. The RTG spheres weigh about 125 kilograms or 276 pounds, reaches speeds up to 35 kilometers or 22 miles per hour. With its amphibious design, the RTG operates on both land and water, including challenging terrain like mud and rivers. The AI-powered robotic spheres have facial recognition capabilities, GPS for precise navigation, multiple cameras, and ultrasonic sensors for obstacle detection. The devices have been deployed in Wenzhou, where it assists officers patrolling commercial districts. Today's police robots have a long way to go before they match the capabilities of the machines in the dystopian future of Robocop. The year is unspecified in the movie, but the novelization indicates the story takes place between November 2043 and February 2044. With AI and robotics advancing rapidly in parallel, it's conceivable that robots with abilities similar to technology in the Paul Verhoeven classic will emerge by then. However, replicating human-like consciousness may remain out of reach, depending on who you ask. To stay up to date as we get there, make sure to subscribe.